Get that money, dummy, do it for the love And I'm hungry, did I mention money? Cop cars, now I need that airplane money Harley laugh in the ghetto, being broke ain't funny We built for this homie, yeah, we run the streets You see me everywhere, Judah, tucking the heat I'm Yo, I rap for the hustlers, put my life on this beat We all we got the next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros is the announcement of a big fight that we've been talking about for a while on this channel, but it's finally become official. And we'll just share this. <clears throat> um, here is Earl Spence Jr. He says, done deal. The king of the division back November 21st on Fox Pay-Per-View versus at Swift, at Danny Swift Garcia. Basically, that's what... uh. Earl Spence put on his uh, Twitter and Danny Garcia wrote on his Instagram. Here we go at Earl Spence Jr. on November 21st. Signed, sealed, delivered. My 10th world title fight. It's time to crown the king again. So both fighters announcing that the fight is officially signed, done November 21st. What are your thoughts on this fight becoming official? G. Yo, I got I got two answers. The first is the G answer, and the second one is the trill answer. Oh god. So the G answer is let's go. You know what I mean? I'm excited. But the trill answer is it's too early, champ. Like <laughs> yo, Spence, what are you doing, bro? You know what I mean? Like, yo, you should at least have done one tune up. At the very least, everyone would forgive you. Nobody would be like a ducker. No one would say any of that because it's understandable. We just watched you do like a thousand somersaults in, in your uh, well, what was it Ferrari? Come on, man! <laughs> like, no, was, really, bro? Was, the video was crazy. So I'm like, fam, I, I think you should just wait a second, fight a lesser opponent just to get your rhythm back. Fall, you know, like you probably feeling like, yeah, I'm, I'm a thousand trillion, and then next you know, when you get in that ring. A punch may hurt differently. You know what I mean? Like, I don't even know if he's clear to spar yet, you know? So, I don't know how his training camp's looking. Like, it's just a lot of, like, if factors. Like, I'm like, what if this happened? What if this happens? So, I'm just like, ah. Uh. But either which way, I respect the man because he's like, you know what? I'm about that action. I want the best of the best. Let's go. So, to me, salute to him. Win, lose, or draw, he's still a champ because that takes a lot of heart to immediately just after something like this and say, nah, yo, I still want the top dogs in the division. Salute to him. I just mean personally, and and, I, and and this is where I agree with Trill on this. We don't know if you're back to 100%. Champ, relax. You know what I mean? Like, well, uh, Shan, what he say? Chill, champ, chill. You know what I mean? Like, just chill, champ. That's all we need. Just take a, a, a lesser of opponent, just get your, get your feet wet. And if you realize, like, all right, yo, this, I'm back, then take on the big boys. But as of right now, man, Danny's too dangerous, man. Like, like it just doesn't make sense to go in there with a killer right now after you just survived. He pretty much survived death. You know what I mean? And so, he, he, yo, man, this dude, yo, salute to, salute to Spence, man. Salute to you, bro. God bless you. All right, Ned. Listen, listen G, if he survived death, What's left? You hear me? <laughs> don't, don't Let my man the truth do his thing. Left, you know? left hook, oh, left hook. <laughs> that left, right? What's <laughs> left <laughs> is the left. <laughs> nah, shout out to yo, I, yo, I, I don't, yo, fast with pants on, I would jump for joy right now, man. But I don't want to get his yellow mark, man. You know, respect to the fellas in the boxing family. But yeah, shout out, shout out to this fight. Yo, it's really dope. I can't wait for it to happen. Yo, shout out to Earl Spence, y'all. I'm glad that you're confident that you're ready to step back in the ring with one of the one of the some of the best in your division. And you know, it's like, like, what what do you expect? Yo, it's only truth mentality out here, you know. That's oh, what man, you don't have any doubts in your mind. Hey man, if the man is confident, he can take he handle the handle his business. Let him handle his business. You know, I ain't Earl Spence. I don't know how he feeling. He should he 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 said he was ready to go three months after the accident. It's almost it's almost a year, and come November it'll be the, it'll be over a year. So, shout out, let's go. All right. 
So I just want to take this time to point out that Earl Spence was in a life altering car crash, um, survived in his first fight back is Danny Garcia, the same Danny Garcia who had a split decision loss to Keith Thurman. And I believe that Danny Garcia won. Um, G believes that Keith Thurman won. And Trill believes that Danny Garcia won. Or at the very minimum, it was a, it was a draw. So you have a split panel. <laughs> like, with the result of uh, that fight. Then you have Sean Porter, who won a close uh, unanimous decision against Danny Garcia. But, of course, Danny Garcia landed 42% of his power punches. And... Watching that fight objectively, I felt like Danny beat him. And I thought Danny beat him more conventionally than uh, Earl Spence did. So that's uh, my opinion on it. And, I, and you know, I believe Trill has said the same thing on the show. So now you have Earl Spence versus Danny Garcia. Danny Garcia has two L's, but he has a lot of victories over uh, great opponents. This is the guy who Earl Spence chose to fight in his first fight back after being in a car accident. But then there are videos and people who were questioning Earl Spence heart as, as to whether or not he was stepping in the ring with Terrence Crawford. Like this man's afraid to step in the ring with Terrence Crawford. And I kept telling those people several times, like when they were like, oh, I don't want to hear this business stuff, this across the street stuff. Well, you may not want to hear it, but business is what business is, right? And people were saying that he's afraid. So let me tell you this. What's more scary, a fight or a life-altering car accident? Life-altering car accident, right? Now, who in the world would have given Earl Spence slack if he wanted a tune-up fight before stepping in the ring with Danny Garcia? Oh. See, it's, it's moments like this that really show you what someone's heart is like. Not the talking, the, not the Twitter fingers, that people seem to give credit to people for what they say, how they posture on camera. You know, all that, that seems to be getting people credibility now. This fight being signed, sealed, and delivered is evidence of someone's heart. Because Earl Spence could have gone an easier route. And people have been claiming he's going the easy route his career, which is a lie. Let's pull up resumes. Look up Earl Spence's resume. He already beat Kell Brook, beat Sean Porter, guys that are absent on Terrence Crawford's resume, right? And he could have gone the easy route, in a position where he could have gone the easy route and been free of ridicule. He could have gone the easy route and been free of criticism. He's taken a guy who's never been definitively beaten by anyone. A guy who beat Terrence Crawford in the amateurs. Terrence Crawford beat him in the amateurs too. But the point is, he's not taking he's not taking an easy opponent when he could. So how about we stop questioning Earl Spence Hart? Which we were never really doing that. But like there were there was this uh contingent that was riding with uh Terrence Crawford and there was this contingent that was riding with Earl Spence and just as an objective observer I'm just pointing out Earl Spence went to England to beat Kell Brook. Earl Spence been, was calling out Keith Thurman when Keith Thurman was the number one guy in the division. Earl Spence went in there and sparked out Sean Porter. Well, he didn't spark him out but he did drop him in. He did his thing with Sean Porter and Sean Porter was great on that night. Car rep, Danny Garcia, no tune-up. Proof that you can't question this man's heart. So from this day forward, I don't want to hear anything about Earl Spence ducking anyone. I don't want to hear anything about Earl Spence afraid to take big fights. Because if he didn't want to take big fights, he would be fighting someone other than Danny Garcia. How about you look at the guy you're claiming is, is it and who he's fighting? Because to me, there's only one guy left for Terrence Crawford to fight. And if he doesn't fight that one guy, this whole ducking debate is over. Manny Pacquiao. If, if Terrence Crawford and Manny Pacquiao is not the next fight for Terrence Crawford, I don't want to hear anything else. But right now, he's not the A-side with Manny Pacquiao. 
He's not a pay-per-view attraction. He does not have the star power of Danny Garcia or Earl Spence. Fighting Manny Pacquiao would do that for him. Whatever split Manny Pacquiao offers him, he should take it and make the fight. 70-30, make the fight. If Terrence Crawford doesn't fight Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao in his next fight, all you people who were saying Earl Spence is a ducker need to turn that energy around and go at your board. I don't want to see a Cavaloskis. I don't want to see another no name. You want to be in the elite in the Walter Wake division. It's time for you to fight the elite in the Walter Wake division. That's it. I don't want you to, you can fight Kell Brook to be the best name on, on his resume. But if you can't get in there with the Pac-Man, if you can't get in there with Keith Thurman, stop. I don't want to hear this across the street stuff because Terrence Crawford could have signed with PBC and he didn't. Now, I'm not using this moment to unload on TC, but this is a moment in which, because I, I noticed some backpedaling, this is a moment in which Earl Spence Hart has just been solidified, and no one can deny that. I want to see Earl Spence versus Terrence Crawford. So since Earl Spence has made a move that I can't criticize now, as much I can't criticize him taking Danny Garcia. I need Terrence Crawford to do the same thing. Make a move I can't criticize because that's going to make Crawford Spence more likely to happen if both men prevail. Because Danny's a very dangerous fight for Spence, so salute to Spence for taking that fight. Much heart for taking that fight. Spence is a dog, and no one can deny it for taking that fight. I want to see Crawford do the same thing. Dog up. It's time for you to fight Manny Pacquiao. You beat Manny. He beat Danny. We're talking extravaganza. We're actually talking a real pay-per-view. Exactly. We're talking extravaganza now. So how about we do that? Anything less than Manny Pacquiao for Terrence Crawford is unacceptable at this point. I don't care what the split is. Make it happen. 70-30 is fair in my book because – Terrence Crawford ain't 70% of the star that Manny Pacquiao is. Let's be real about it. And it's, he'll still make more money in that than he made in his last three fights. So come on now. Let's not, let's not be foolish with this situation. So make it happen. And uh, another thing. Trill did uh, text me when this fight was made official. And uh, basically his thing is he wants no excuses. No excuses. He feels like it's too soon for Earl Spence. He would have liked a tune-up, but the fact that he took this fight and the fact that he's saying he wants no excuses, and I agree, no excuses, but win, lose, or draw, Earl Spence showed his heart on this one. Can't be denied anymore. I don't want to hear any more ducking. I don't want to hear running from TC. I don't want to hear none of that. Tell TC to fight somebody that we know. Tell him to fight somebody that we'll be excited to see. How about that? So that way we can have that fight next if both men win. All right, I'm done. Exactly. Please like, share, subscribe. Let us know your thoughts on the whole TC versus Earl Spence. And also let us know if you think Earl Spence is ready for a Danny Garcia right now. It's the Boxing Bros. That's a different question, but all right. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see what's on your mind. You want to see what's on my mind. Tipping all the time. I want to know if you want to be mine. You want to know if you can be mine. I wanna see what